What's up, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And it's about time that we put this Russia investigation to bed. Now, we just found out that the FBI was investigating the president after he exercised his duty to fire James Comey. And now we're finding out about this. Now, think about this. That is, that is equivalent to you being hired on a job and for whatever reason, the boss makes a decision within his right, you don't like it, so you decide to launch your own personal investigation against your boss. You don't talk to your boss about it. You don't tell your boss. You just decide, I'm gonna do some investigation. So you start snooping into his office when he's not there, going through his mail, you know, uh, when you see the little light on and shows he's on a phone call, you go ahead, click on it, and you're listening in, all of that stuff. Um, I don't think that that would sit well in the boss's stomach if he found that out, especially if the decision that your boss made was within all of his rights and it was legal, but for whatever reason, you decide, I don't agree with it, and I'm, I, I, I'll question his motive. So I'm going to go ahead and launch an investigation. You would be fired so quick. And it shows that the top people in the FBI was corrupt. You cannot tell me there's any logical reason why the FBI would say, let's launch a counterintelligence operation against the president of the United States. Now, I have to break this down so we can put this to bed about Russia and Donald Trump. I got a friend on Facebook, he's always arguing with me, y'all, you know, trying to bring up Russia collusion. And don't you think that Donald Trump had a cozy relationship with the Russians? And I start, I had to just break it down to him. I said, look, man, I've been, I've been, I've been tilling with this. I've been playing with you thus far, hoping that a lot of your arguments was just facetious. You know, I, I was hoping you weren't really believing that Donald Trump colluded with the Russians. When people step back from their emotions and look at this, this is the dumbest thing in the world. And I'm so sick of us pretending that this investigation makes sense. You're trying to tell me that not only Donald Trump, a businessman from New York who don't have any record or dealings with Russia in any significant way, Maybe he said he sat next to Vladimir Putin one time. You don't see any records of him traveling back and forth to Russia. You don't have any records of him secretly meeting or talking to any Russians. Nothing. The man was a Hollywood star with The Apprentice and a business guy and a billionaire playboy. That was it. But yet they're trying to convince us somehow within that short amount of time when he decided I'm going to run for president, he somehow was able to pull off the greatest collusion ever, conspiracy ever, <coughs> by meeting with what who? I mean, there's no records of him talking to Vladimir Putin. Do you realize if Donald Trump was to ever reach out to a foreign entity like Putin, all of that would have been intercepted by the NSA, the CIA, the FBI, all of that, but there's no record of it. How would you even coordinate something this detailed to pull off this type of collusion or victory without a conversation with the powers that be? And let's be real, in Russia, nothing goes down if it doesn't come out of the mouth or head of Vladimir Putin. So for us to buy into this hoax, this witch hunt, and take it seriously, I'm about tired of it. I can't entertain it anymore. And it bothers me that even people on TV, I listen to the people on Fox. Fox will address it. <coughs> they will they will attack it. They'll do some slight disprovals, uh, trying to disprove it. But at the same time, they, they still try to act as if there's potential of this being somewhat serious, except Tucker and, 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 and Tucker, let me see, Tucker, Laura Ingram, and Sean Hannity, you know, at nighttime, they're like, this is stupid, especially Tucker. He's like, this is stupid. It's a hoax. And I'm, I'm sick of us just pretending. Same thing with Sean. Uh, we all know this is a bunch of bull crap. Now, let's just talk <coughs> logically before I choke to death. First things first, 
what was in it for Donald Trump if he just colluded with Russia? Did he say, hey, Vladdy, if you could get me in, I will give you what? OK, I'm already a billionaire. It's not really about money for me winning the presidency. So what what was it? Well, I mean, you know, he, he put up his own money. If he would have lost, he would have lost. So he let's just pretend. Let's just make believe. He says, you know, Vladimir Putin, I want to win the uh, the election. Vladimir says, OK, don't do it. We help you out. Now, here's the question. How did he help him? How did he give me some breakdown and steps of how Russia actually contributed to the win of Donald Trump? Because if you tell me that two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of Facebook ads did it, I got a problem with your intelligence. OK, I mean, I'm questioning if the elevator makes it to the top. In fact, I'm questioning if the elevator ever left the bottom. If you're going to try to tell me that $250,000 worth of Facebook ads turn the whole tide of the election. Secondly, for the Russians to do something like that, there would have to be something so vast in return. And then the question becomes, what is that? So is, is Donald Trump at this point uh, giving them money? Is he giving them weapons? Is he making policy changes that helps the Russians? No. I mean, he opened up our pipelines. We're selling resources to Russia's clients that they were selling resources to. We're in direct conflict with them. We've increased our military, which Russia hates. We've armed um, Russians' enemies in that area. Um, let's see what else we've done. We've hit sanctions on Russia. We've bombed Syria twice against Russia that said, don't do it, but we did it anyway. And yet you're trying to make me believe that somehow this coup, this, 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 this collusion went on and Donald Trump by being harder on Russia is paying them back that way. Is that what you're trying to tell me? So when you look at this whole thing, if you're not smart enough to see that this is a witch hunt and a coup by the upper echelons of our intelligent agents. Um, you, something's, something's wrong. Something's wrong with you. Because you got to step back from it and say, are you kidding me? You never look at the obvious. And what I mean by that is on his face value, Donald Trump colluded with Russia. It's laughable. That's what they want you to believe on face value. That's too obvious. It has to be something deeper than that. Meaning y'all have made it appear that Donald Trump colluded with Vladimir Putin somehow. That's what it comes down to because on face value, it doesn't make any practical, logical sense. Never look at the first thing they throw up in your face, the first narrative, because that's the distracting narrative. That's the one that's going, hey, look up here, everybody because a whole bunch of other stuff is going on down here. You know, it's kind of like the Democrats with their narratives that we are against walls because walls are immoral. Uh, walls divide us. Walls are put up because you want to keep America white and we're looking out for the little people and we want to see people just have a better life. The sub motive, we want open borders. We want to increase our Latino population so they can help our voter base. And we also want cheap labor for all of our um, special interest groups. That's the sub motive. The surface motive is we're looking out for them. Russia, surface motive. Real collusion, FBI, CIA, DNC, um, Hillary Clinton, all of them tried to put this thing in place to stop Trump and then now get him out. And people can't see that. And I scratch my head every time and lose faith a little more every day. When I hear people like, man, you know your boy uh, Donald Trump colluded with the Russians. And I go, maybe I'm an alien. Maybe conservatives who can see through this stuff is the next chain in the evolutionary process. Did we get the gene that allows us to see through crap? Because all those who believe this stuff, I'm going, well, what happened to you? Well, you didn't get the see through crap gene? I don't understand. Well, did they leave that off while you were going down the assembly line? I mean, this is crap. It's so obvious. This is bull crap where steam is still coming off of it. And you can identify it way out there in the field somewhere. And you go, you see that pile of bull crap out there with the smoke coming off of it? That's doo doo. That's how obvious this is. All right. And yet people are going, well, I mean, you know, you never know. He probably did commit. I'm going, 
I lose faith every single time I hear somebody bring this up. And every time they run it through the media and act as if this is a serious, like, investigation. This is serious. We want to get to the bottom of this. We need to find out if our president was colluding with Russia. Donald Trump colluding with Russia. Donald Trump, who has Americans' interests first in almost everything he is doing, you're trying to tell me that he was willing to sell America out to the Russians while at the same time doing everything in the best interest of America since he's been in office. And yet y'all trying to get us to believe that crap. This is absolutely ridiculous waste of money. And it is an open coup to overthrow a duly elected president by even suggesting this. But secondly... The fact that um, Donald Trump was investigated by the FBI, the, this under his jurisdiction, that right there is, is almost like mutiny. And then people are, yeah, he needed to be investigated. I'm like, you got to be the dumbest box of rocks. Unbelievable. It just makes me mad when I hear that. You know, you don't do stuff like that against the president, your boss, Unless you got real reasons of some real corruption and stuff like that. And as of now, you don't have it. They never had it. They made it up. Don't y'all get that? I do. Anyway, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Trying to make some sense out of this nonsense. I didn't had it up to here with Russia. Okay? You know, just, and you know what the last, my last thought. By them pushing this whole narrative, it puts us all in danger. Because it limits the amount of negotiations and relationships that we could have with Russia. Because as soon as Donald Trump says we need to meet with the Russians, oh, see, I knew it. It was Russia. And I'm going, y'all would rather us have more division, tension within the world with another superpower than to have peace. Because if y'all were to shut up and get y'all big noses out of it and let Trump do his job, it would, of course, make y'all look bad. And y'all may not get back in power, which I hope they never do, ever. And thus, they're willing to play with our safety, our lives, and everything for power, for votes. And the Democrats do this in every area of our lives. Not, not their lives, in our lives. The stuff that impact regular citizens, they gamble, play around, manipulate, and they will only do things that benefit them, even if they know that what they're doing hurts Americans. They know illegal immigration is a problem, but they don't care. They're willing to put up the 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 the, the motive, but then the sub motive is something else. You know, they're going, yeah, this is a snap, but we know it really hurts you. But we don't care because this is what we're trying to accomplish. This is our goal. It's bigger than y'all. It's bigger than Americans' lives. They do that in every area. So whenever they agree with a policy or they support a policy, normally I look at that and say, why wait a minute what's wrong with it is it corrupt i'm kind of like my dog sammy and i'm gonna end with sammy see he gives me revelations my dog sammy is a bulldog and he has like this sixth sense the dog doesn't trust anything anybody gives him so what happens is when i'm trying to make sammy take medicine you know i put the the, the pill in the bread i'm going through all the little youtube videos of how to make your dog take pills put it in some meat put it in bread, peanut butter, wrap it up in bacon. It doesn't matter. You know, what my little dog Caesar, the white dog of privilege, I can put it in some bread, drop it on the floor. Caesar don't care. He eats it. I could be feeding poison. Gobble, 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 gobble. You literally hear the gobble sounds coming out of his mouth. Gobble, 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 gobble. But Sammy, I don't care what I put in it. I stick it in his face and he'd be like, wait a minute. What's in it? You eat it first. I ain't going to take a bite until I know this ain't no poison. He don't trust anything anybody gives him. That's how I am with the Democrats. Whenever they get on TV and say anything, first reaction is, mm, wait a minute. What kind of crap are they feeding us? Are they trying to poison us? I don't trust them one bit. Thus, they're in Puerto Rico now having a good time and talk Elijah Cummings talking about some, yeah, we got the right to investigate everything and subpoena everybody and waste everybody's time and money and just mess with the president the whole time he's in office so that he can't get nothing done. And I hope if they go that route, the president opens up the books and exposes them for who they really are and shuts their whole party down. 
But because I've lost faith in half of Americans' intellect, I fear that even if they pulled back the curtains and showed the corruption of Hillary Clinton, the DNC, all of the Democrats, there's that group of people out there that hate Trump so much, they would, yeah, you know what, but still Trump did. And I'm like, you know, it, it's just, it's useless sometimes. But I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying to make sense out of nonsense. So now you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Find me um, Wednesday nights, 730, live on YouTube and um, my live radio blog talk show. Don't forget to check out Extreme Tees. The link is in the bottom. Promo code, my name, Kevin. And also, um, if you want to support Kevin and Kevin's Corner, there's a link in the bottom do that. Find me on Facebook. Find me on Twitter. And don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. And we'll see you next time in Kevin's Corner as we continue this journey of trying to make some sense out of this non-to-the-sense. God bless you. Find you next time in Kevin's Corner.